my name is Aya Hassan. I was born on December of 1997 in Sudan and I'm currently based there. Um, I majored in French language studies at Sudan University of Science and Technology and I'm currently doing my master's on French literature at University of Fazon. I'm a makeup artist. I started doing makeup from a really young age. Uh, like I'd be sitting at home creating artistic looks on my own. Uh, but my, my obsession with makeup has always been there. But I've never, I've never really took it seriously until 2016. That's when I started thinking about taking it on a more professional level. I started my makeup career by collaborating with different artists from different fields and I would normally go on about uh, preparing for a shoot by uh, discussing the, uh, the, the details of the project with the team members individually and then I would sit on my own and try to come up with a look that is satisfactory for all the participants in the, in the project. The most significant influence on my makeup career, I'd say, is one of my all-time favorite makeup artists, Wayne Goss. Uh, everything I've learned about makeup, I've learned from him. I get inspiration from my surroundings, like I would literally, let's say, look at, look at a paper bag and get inspired by it. I, I normally try to look for the beauty in the most random places. most about makeup is the freedom aspect of it. I find that one of the biggest uh, pros of being a makeup artist is that you, if you're doing it right, you get to bring out the beauty in other people. Applying makeup for a shoot and for a real life party appearance is so much difference in terms of the amount of product you're gonna have to be wearing because the camera doesn't pick up on, on, on very light application of makeup. So you're going to have to put more than you would on a, uh, on a regular outing off camera. I find that the best lighting for makeup photography is natural lighting. Nothing beats up the, the golden hours. And I also think that choosing the, 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 look for the, uh, the colors for the makeup look depending on the, the, the lighting source that you have, complements them and makes a huge difference. One of the most common mistakes women or people who wear makeup in general make is blindly, blindly following what other people tell them to do and having little to no knowledge about their own fe uh, features. I would say uh, mostly my friends and family and recently I've gotten acquainted with some of my followers who have been gratefully uh, very supportive as well. Uh, one of the most uh, important beauty advice that I could give to anyone is that makeup is, one, is not one size fits all. You have to try new things and experience with it in, in order to get to know what works best for you and what works for someone else might not work for you. Uh, an advice that I would give to any aspiring makeup artist is that I would tell them to have fun with what they're doing and to not always give up to the stereotypical standards of makeup being forced on them by the social media and the beauty gurus. And uh, I would tell them to keep learning because knowledge is a never ending journey.